life lately, y'all. Life lately. I am back home. Can y'all see me? I'm back home at my parents' house. My dad's house. And I was sitting over here watching YouTube videos, watching Instagram videos, and... I just hate that feeling of imposter syndrome. Like, how do people get out of their own way to become the person that they think and know that they should be? Lately, I've just been in a lot of thoughts. A lot of thoughts. And I think it has a lot to do with my industry being on strike. If you didn't know, sag after joined the WGA last week. And we are on the picket lines. And we are fighting for our rights against... All that big corporations are doing with the streaming, with AI, with all of that, we deserve it. But I think I've, I've been in a space of kind of reflection and wanting to pivot in my career even before the strike. So when the strike hit, I was like, no day but today. Like, ugh. So I've been home for a few days. I came for my best friend since junior high school her bridal shower i'm in my first wedding ever and um we had a time we went we did tea we did all these things to see that but now that i'm back home in jersey with my dad um just left new york the other day with my mom i'm about to head to la tomorrow it's like all these things on my head, on my heart, that I just wanted to share and talk about. It's hard. It's hard being an adult, man. It's hard really being on the journey of your life. But I think it's harder for us in this generation because of social media. I think at times, you get caught up on social media, seeing how other people live their life and what they're doing and the things that you want to do, whatever that looks like. But sometimes you are so afraid to take that that leap of faith to do it. And I think that's been me for a long time. Like, I have Black in Hollywood, which is my business that I want to grow as a space for actors and creatives, especially Transpants in Los Angeles, to have resources, to have information on things that's going to help them on their journey to be a successful in the entertainment industry. I know I didn't have that. I did a lot of research and I just had a lot of trial and error, but I want to be there for others in that kind of way. But I think before this trip home, I really wasn't sure what I was doing with that platform. It was just kind of like throwing spaghetti at the wall, hoping it lands, and some landed, some didn't. When it comes to self, I know I've been building my personal brand of Atika Green as being this actress, content creator, poet, producer, whatever. But it's more to me than just those things. So as I've been trying to find my voice within both of these platforms that mean a lot to me, we have a strike and now I am forced to figure out what the future of my creative endeavors look like. And I think that scares me even more. It's kind of like the bill collectors, if you keep running from them, you keep hiding from them, ignoring their calls, eventually they're going to send a letter, eventually they're going to garnish your wages, and then what? How are you going to hide, you know? So, honestly, I've just been thinking about radical acceptance and walking through it. When people say you really got to walk through it to get out of it, I believe it to the utmost because I can't hide from myself and from who I am am destined to be no matter how fearful that might be so I honestly just wanted to come on here to help you and remind you that no matter how afraid you might be right now in that space I'm afraid I'm so afraid of what the future might hold for me in this career and my passion but no matter where you are in that space all you got to do is start somewhere, try one thing. And it sounds so simple because I'm talking to myself. That one thing that was scaring you to do might take a couple of minutes and it might just change your life. It might just change your life and then what did you do? You wasted 
all this time trying to figure out what you're supposed to do or figure out how you're supposed to do it and it didn't it didn't happen for you so I think that's how I feel about this new chapter in my life like I just started locks <laughs> and when I first got them done I was like what in the world is this like I grew up very much loving myself and my black hair and who I am, but I definitely have been living in a place like Los Angeles who is very superficial. The lighter the skin, the better. The more ambiguous, the better. Just real black people in general. They don't get the same type of love, but that just goes on to the culture of how we are very much bamboozled and we are very much, you know taught to hate ourselves in so many ways for such a long time and um, the PTSD is real within our culture as a people so as I started to really understand that and I'm glad I started it here in Los Angeles in, um, in the East Coast because it's a different vibe here there are real people here who expect the realness and want the realness not just how you pretend to be or who you want to be with this group of people versus that group of people. So I think that something that started to like really scream at me was, yeah, I might have imposter syndrome because I want to be this person of motivation, but I find it hard to be motivated myself sometimes. But don't we love that? Don't we love the people who share that, who are being authentic and vulnerable and saying like, this is not just for y'all, this is for me. Because I know that's what I look forward to when I'm looking on YouTube or Instagram. I'm really drawn to those people who are transparent and are honest and are just like, this is me. This is me and this is what you're going to get. So, I didn't really want to put too much on this video. I'm doing it, as you see, in my PJs, in my old room, my room one of my rooms that I grew up in. Um, just being real and just telling y'all the real and I, I want to continue to just speak that so again the message if you missed it you might feel afraid you might feel like an imposter you might not even know what to do but you're always going to be in a state of evaluation and trying to figure out what's next so within that and knowing that's a part of the life that you're going to live do it anyway do it scared do it broke do it just do it just do it like Nike said right <laughs> just do it it's your girl content queen Atika Green Miss Black in Hollywood if you want to stay connected with me off of YouTube because I promise I'm a little more fun outside of YouTube I'm still trying to figure out how YouTube will work for me and what it looks like what the future of YouTube looks like for me but if you want to stay connected with me please follow me on my personal page on Instagram Atika.green or if you're an actor or you're a creative in the Los Angeles area or planning to move to the Los Angeles area or just want to know a little bit about what we do out here in the Los Angeles connect with me on black in Hollywood I'm gonna link all of these pages down below and if you want that go ahead and look below and and follow one or two or more of the pages cuz I'm your plug I'm your Los Angeles plug providing lasting useful guidance for all of you who want to be in the entertainment industry and just don't know where to start because I've been there and with the strike going on there's a lot of resources that I want to share with you all don't feel lost feel strong know that we got a lot that we can still do within these crazy times and joining the picket line is definitely one of them so thank you again for your time subscribe if you feel the vibe go ahead and press that thumbs up so more videos like this can be i don't even know what happens actually with the, i'm still learning this youtube thing as i said but go ahead and like it it's gonna hopefully help <laughs> help in some kind of way to keep it being pushed across this platform subscribe so you don't miss nothing and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace